Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new science video. Today, we're going to review uh, Unit 4, Plants and Animals, um, to be prepared and get ready for our new unit, Offspring and their parents. So for this unit, we'll learn about living and non-living things. We learn about parts of plants, parts of animals, and parts of animals' uh, survival. So we're going to review the vocabularies that we cover for this unit and their definition or the meaning. All right, let's start. Living and non-living. Living, a thing is that grows, changes, and needs food, air, and water to survive. So any living things should have food, air, water, and it grows and change. Non-living thing that does not grow and change or need food, air, or water to survive. So non-living things like table, chair, car, living things like cats, human, animals, dogs, uh, trees, plants, all right, now parts of plants. So parts of plants that um, we have, we're gonna learn the part of the plant and what uh, does help the plant with. So we have first one, flower. Flower is a part of a plant that makes the seeds. Seed, a part of a plant that can grow into a new plant. Stem, the part of a plant that holds up the plant. Leaves, the plant part that use sunlight and air to make food. Roots, a plant part that keeps the plant in the ground. Fruit, the plant part that holds the seeds. And then we have nutrients, a thing that living things need to grow. So that was that were all what we cover and learn about plants. Now different types of animals. We learn about mammal, mammal an animal with hair or fur, bird, an animal that has two legs, two wings and feathers, reptile, an animal that has dry skin covered with scales, amphibian, an animal that lives part of its life in water and part on land. We learn about fish, an animal that lives in water and has gills to fin and fins, and then we learn about insects, an animal with three body sections and six legs. So these are the different types of animals that we learn about and cover in unit four. Let's see animal parts. Gills, the part of a fish that takes in oxygen from water. So this is how the gills breathe, how the fish breathes through gills. Lungs, the body parts used to breathe air. That's what we use. We also learn about animals are living things. Shelters, a place where animals can live and be safe. Survive to live and grow. Okay, I'm gonna leave you with some videos as well to help you have fun and remember all these words. Thank you, bye-bye.